Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this trippy ghost trail effect inside of After Effects and this effect does not require any plugins so you guys do not need to download anything besides just using the built-in effects inside of After Effects. So super simple and easy tutorial and hopefully you guys can uh, follow along pretty easily. All right, so this is what my timeline's looking like so far. I just have my Cliff of Juice world right here and then I have adjustment layer which is just the color grade because without it it's super flat. So what I'm going to do is go up to our rotor brush right here and just double click on your layer and it should pop up this other like composition that you can edit your rotor brush in. And what we're going to do is just select a subject. So juice world in this and just get like a rough sketch around his body. And you can also look in this other composition, this other layer, and you can see what it's looking like on the black background. So it's a bit rough but we can change everything later um, if we want to. But this right here, you wanna make sure it's at 2.0 and the quality is on best. So just have those settings checked and you should be good. If you don't have the 2.0, then it's probably because you're on an older version of After Effects. So don't worry, it's still gonna work, but it's just gonna be a, a little bit harder to the rotor brush just because the 2.0 is a lot more advanced. So this one is just gonna work a lot easier and get better results. So I'm just gonna go a few frames forward and kind of correct it if it starts to mess up but it doesn't look too bad, so I'm just gonna keep going forward. So right here, his hand kind of pops out of the rotor brush, so just select that and just fix it. And if you go to the next frame, you might have to correct that also. Try to do the best and then go forward and it looks like it's tracking it now. All right, so that should be good. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Um, with the effect, it's kind of hard to see the imperfections in the rotor brush so you should be fine with that but before you close this window you want to actually freeze your rotor brush so just go up here and freeze it and mine is 130 frames or around 130 it's 137 but i'm just going to let it do its thing and it's just going to freeze the rotor brush so we're not going to be having the rotor brush keep like moving around while we're editing so by doing this it just freezes it and we won't have to deal with it later on all right so now that the rotor brush is done we can just close our layer and go back into our main composition right here and we can feather out the edges right here go up to our feather and just drag that up so we get a nice clean look on it something like that i'm doing like 15 15.9 do whatever looks good for you and i'm just going to duplicate this layer so Control c Control v and it duplicates the layer and we're just going to delete the rotor brush on the bottom one so we have this and then copy the rotor brush layer one more time. So now you have two rotor brush layers and a one background layer with no effects applied. And on this middle layer right here, I'll just change the color. You don't have to do this. I'm just going to make it like uh, peach. So we can see that. And this is the layer that we're going to like add all the effects to and have the ghost like trail effect on it. So the first thing I'm going to do to this layer is add the echo effect. And once again, these are all built in. So no need for plugins. Just drag that on. The number of echoes we want to do four and right when you do that you can see that you get this weird thing on the first frame i don't know why this happens on the first frame to be honest so you might have to trim that later but just go a few frames forward and it should fix itself then also the last thing you want to do with this echo effect is change this add to composite in the front so then you can actually see the ghosting because when it's on the add it, you just get this like a white glowing kind of effect so put composite on front so he is on top of the layers right there so yeah this is what it's looking like without the other effects applied so let's just drag on our glow here and if you do have the uh, like deep glow or sapphire glows those will probably look better but in this case i'm just going to use a standard glow and we can mess with the settings here let's make the glow threshold like 40 glow radius 30 and then you can change these colors right here, the color A and B if you want to, but I'm just going to leave these the same or just the default white and black right there. And the last thing we want to add to this is VR digital glitch. And we just want to bring that onto our clip. So now we have all three of these echo glow and VR digital glitch. And now if we play it back, you can see that we have the ghosting trail with all these effects applied to our clip. So you can mess with the settings for this VR digital glitch, but in this case, I just leave everything default, but you can change like the frame layout to these other settings right here, but I don't know. I just like the normal 
uh, default settings for this. So I'm just going to keep everything the same. But yeah, once again, the first frame, or I think it's the first like few frames here, you get this like weird, um, I don't know, just like everything is just blown out. So I just like to trim that out. Okay, so here's what the finished video looks like. I'm just going to play it back real quick and you can see what the effect looks like on this clip. So super cool ghosting kind of trail effect with that cool VR digital. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. If you guys need any help on this tutorial or got stuck along the way, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out. And comment down below what you guys want to see next for future videos. I'm always looking for different ideas and effects to do. So leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.